is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is Five Minutes on Tech. This time, since several of you asked for this, we're going to talk about Intel Iris Graphics, which is the step-up integrated graphics that you can get on several different laptops and even uh, convertible two-in-ones like Microsoft Surface Pro. Is it worth it? How much of a difference does it make? This is going to hurt if you went and spent big bucks and got yourself some Iris Graphics. I I hate to say it, but it really depends on how much more you're paying for it and what else you're getting bundled with it. Iris Graphics is still integrated graphics. The base clock speed, whether you're going from Intel HD 620, which is your ubiquitous integrated graphics for Intel 7th generation KB Lake, up to 640 and even 650, Iris plus 650 graphics. You're still looking at around 300 megahertz base clock speed and a turbo boost somewhere around 1050 to 1100 megahertz. So there's not much of a difference there. In terms of execution units for HD 620 or base model, again, on 15 watt CPUs, 24 execution units. If you're going up to Iris 640, or Iris 650, you move up to 48 execution units. Even if you don't understand quite what that means, you figure out it's executing twice as many instructions. That's got to be a good thing, right? This And Intel Iris 640 and 650 graphics give you a little teeny uh, bit of RAM cache, 64 megabytes. It's not a whole lot. So what's the deal? If you go up to Intel Iris 640 graphics, what are you getting? You're still getting a 15-watt dual-core Ultrabook CPU, Intel inside. And typically those end in the 60. So it's like, Intel 7660. So when you see those Intel CPU numbers, you know, like the regular base XPS with the core i5, it's i5-7200U, it ends with 00, so that's how you know the difference. Now if you're talking about Iris plus 650, the highest end, that typically ends with a 67 in the CPU model number. Again, they're linked together, CPU and GPU. So Performance difference when you're talking about 640 is still a 15 watt CPU, so the whole package isn't really doing that much. Yeah, but if you go up to 650, and this is the rarer case, but something that Apple uses in the 13 inch MacBook Pro in the old days, always and now only in the touch bar models, you've got a 28 watt CPU and integrated graphics. So more wattage means more power, more time spent in boost. That's the one that's noticeably faster. The problem is you won't see that in many Ultrabooks. Still, it's a great pick for those who are doing kind of hardcore art. And you know me, I love to do art Photoshop with many, many layers, for example, and a little extra punch in Adobe Premiere. And now a word about our sponsor, Skillshare. They're sort of like YouTube, but with much more focus. They're about learning photography, design, art, even technology. And they have 15,000 classes available. Starts at $10 a month for a premium membership. For example, speaking of art, which I was just talking about, I was checking out Skillshare because I, well, actually care about learning to do art even better. And they have quite a few tutorials. For example, I was checking out David Drazzle's class, Sketch Like an Architect, and it made drawing buildings in perspective a lot clearer and less difficult. And, you know, I do a lot of natural paintings, so doing buildings and stuff, it kind of squicked me out until I checked out that video. Now, if you check out the link below in the description, you can get two months free to try it out, which is a pretty darn good deal. And you can do it anywhere. There's an iOS app, there's an Android app. You can do it on your phone. You can even do it for offline stuff too, if you're going to be out of network coverage. Makes it pretty easy to learn what you want, where you want. So what does that all mean to you? Well, if you're going to play something like Overwatch, granted, it's pop, very popular. It's also very demanding. If you do it on Intel HD 620 graphics, you're going to want to do it in like low settings and 720p, and the frame rate's going to be probably 30 frames per second, which is just tolerable. If you move up to Intel Iris Plus 640 graphics, you should definitely be able to do up to medium settings. You might even be able to push high and probably see a frame rate going from 25 up to 50 frames per second. So that's a little bit of a jump there, but you're not changing the resolution or anything else really too much on. And 650 would certainly be the best, and there you might even do 1080p on high. Again, seeing some frame dips below 30 frames per second, still not ideal. So there you have it. Where did these sit? These sit below the NVIDIA 940M. That's NVIDIA's last generation low in GPUs, significantly below the 940MX, which is the refresh with faster VRAM inside. GDDR5 VRAM. So you're still better off if you're really into gaming or if you really need an oomph kind of push for Premiere and getting some low-end dedicated graphics inside. 
but you will get up to 20% improvement with Intel Iris Plus 650 because that's coupled with that 28 watt CPU inside. So you're getting faster everything. So in terms of pricing, you know, like with Microsoft Surface Pro, the 2017 edition, to go from the 1299 model to the 1599 model, the only thing that changes is you're moving up to that Intel Iris 640. CPU there, $300 for that, not so much worth it. You know, I know some of you will do it because you want to get the best you can get now, so you don't have to worry about upgrading and you want to feel good about your purchase, but that's not so great. With Dell, what they do is they, like a lot of other manufacturers, they bundle it in with giving give you a bigger SSD, sometimes more RAM, so the whole package is getting improved. And there it starts to make sense if you're spending $300 more and you're getting more storage and all that sort of thing. So there you have it. It's not the greatest performance leap in the world, but it's a complicated one, like I said, because the CPU and the GPU are tied together here because it's integrated graphics. So you have to look at the whole package and the whole story. Moving from a Core i5 to a Core i7 gets you 5 to 7% performance increase right there with these dual cores, for example. The most interesting one will be that 28 watt with the Intel Iris 650 graphics, and that one's just not that easy to find in laptops. But I'd say if you're really looking for that punch, it's still going to be even low in dedicated graphics. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more cool tech videos and thumbs up if you like this video.